What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today I'm going to be showing you how to lock applications on your iPhone using Face ID, Touch ID, or a passcode. And this is going to work on iOS 14, iOS 15, and likely future versions of iOS as well. Now keep in mind that this is not a native feature of iOS, at least not yet. So there's no smooth, you know, intuitive way to do this, but this little hack that I'm going to be showing you in this video today will still get the job done until Apple eventually makes this a built in feature. So there are a couple of ways to hide and, you know, kind of lock applications, but the main one we're going to be showing today has to do with the shortcuts application. It's actually an automation built in to shortcuts. So we're going to go ahead and jump straight into this. So what you guys need to do is go ahead into the shortcuts application. And once you're on this page right here, just go to the automation tab down at the bottom from here, go ahead and tap on the plus up in the top, right? Tap on create personal automation. And you want to go down until you see app right here, go ahead and select on app. You want to make sure that it's on is open and from here you're going to be able to select the applications you want to lock so go ahead and tap on app and from here you could select any application you want that you want to lock on your phone so let's say i want to lock snapchat let's say i want to lock tesla let's say i want to lock i don't know youtube and zillow so those are the applications you could choose as many as you want let's go and tap on done right here let's go to next and from here, we're going to go ahead and tap on add action. And from here, we're just going to go ahead and search for timer. And with timer, you could see that start timer comes up. That's what we want to select. So go ahead and tap on start timer. Then from here, tap where it shows 30. That is the default value in there right there. Let's go ahead and tap on one. So enter in one, and we're going to change this from minutes to seconds. That way, after one second, the start timer action triggers. So from there, we're going to go ahead and tap on next. And you can see now kind of a summary of what this automation does. So when any of these applications are opened, do start timer. And I'll show you how this all kind of ties together here in a moment, but you want to make sure to deselect ask before running. We don't want this to ask if we want to run the uh, automation. So we're gonna go ahead and tap on don't ask, tap on done. And there we go. That's it. However, it's still not complete. Now we need to go into our clock application, go ahead and find the clock application, then go to timer. And from here, you want to go to when timer ends and you want to go ahead all the way down to the bottom and select stop playing. So select stop playing on the timer, go and tap on set. And it doesn't matter what you set the timer as right there. Just make sure that when timer ends is set on stop playing. And now the automation will work. So let me go ahead and show you how it works. So let's try to open up an application. Let's just say Snapchat. So now when we try to open up Snapchat, you can see it gives us the notification that the shortcut has run and it takes us right back to the lock screen where we have to put in our face ID, our touch ID, or our passcode. So it basically goes into the application for one second and then it runs the command to set the timer and that timer is set to stop playing and that basically sends it back to the lock screen. So you guys will notice that when you go ahead and open up one of these applications, you can see you get a notification up there from the shortcuts application. And then also it appears on the lock screen, as you can see right here, open any of four apps running your automation. Now, if you want to get rid of this notification, you can actually do that. So it's not as easy as going into your notification settings. There's kind of a little workaround for this. So what you want to do is go ahead into your settings and then go to screen time and then go to see all activity, go all the way down to the bottom until you see notifications right down here. And this is where we're going to go ahead and select shortcuts. Now, if it doesn't show up right here, you can see mine does show up, but you can't actually click on it. So there's no little arrow over there to click on shortcuts. So to bypass this, just tap on this back arrow right here and then back to the front arrow, just like so. And then you should see shortcuts now has the arrow. We can go ahead onto it right here we can just go ahead and disallow notifications. So now when we go ahead and open up one of those applications, you can see we do not get any shortcuts notification and it just goes back to the lock screen and whoever is on your phone will be very confused as to why your phone just went to its lock screen because you won't even see any type of notification from the shortcuts application. Now, if you want to disable this, it's very easy. Just go ahead back into the shortcuts application, go to the automation you just created right here, and then just simply disable the automation. So right where it says enable this automation, deselect that, press done, and now you can go ahead and open up these applications 
just like normal and it will not kick you back to the lock screen. Now, of course, the one downside to doing this method is that you'll be using your clock's timer. So inside of clock and timer, you cannot change that from when timer ends to like a certain sound. It always needs to stay on stop playing. So that could be a disadvantage, you know, or a kind of a downside, a con to using this method if you use the timer for things. But one thing you can do as a kind of workaround is just to, you know, play some music. And when your timer goes off, like when you set this, let's just say we set it to three minutes right here. When you go ahead and press on start, the timer still works. So in three minutes, you know, I'm playing music or I'm playing a YouTube video or whatever. When those three minutes are up, the music will just stop playing. So I'll know. So that's one kind of workaround to that. Of course, it's not, you know, the best. It's not natively built in, but that is one kind of, you know, way around that where you'll still know when the timer goes off. It's just whenever your media stops playing instead of a sound. Now, there is also another way to kind of lock and hide applications on your iPhone through screen time. So this is just kind of an alternate way to do this. And it's not the same by any means but you can go ahead and do this. I just want to share this as well in this video in case you guys did not know about this. So if you go into your settings and go to screen time right here and then go to content and privacy restrictions and then enable this, you can actually kind of restrict and fully hide applications from your home screen. So for instance, if we go to, let's just say allowed apps right here, you could disallow certain apps from even showing up on the home screen. So like for example, if I chose on Safari right here, you will notice that Safari just disappeared from my home screen. I can't search for it. So even if I search for Safari, nothing comes up. I cannot get to Safari in any way when this is set up. And to disable this, you actually have to, you know, put in your passcode if you do set a passcode right there. So this could be another way to kind of hide applications on your iPhone or lock applications on your iPhone. If you want to re-enable it, of course you could put it right there. And one thing you may have noticed is that inside of allowed applications, you don't see every application. It's only certain ones. But if you wanted to hide things like your social media apps, like Instagram, Snapchat, and things like that, you could go into here and then go to content restrictions. And then from here, you can go to apps and then only allow apps that are nine plus. So four plus or nine plus, and that will hide all of your social media applications. And the reason for that is because most social media applications require users to be 12 and older. So if you put it on four or nine plus, it's going to hide, you know, social media applications or any application that the users have to be, you know, above 12 for. So that's just one little workaround as well for kind of hiding or locking applications on your iPhone. So again, neither of these are perfect solutions, but nothing ever will be until Apple implements this feature in a future iOS release, which who knows when that will be. We've been asking for this to be built into iOS for a very long time now. I would love to just be able to simply haptic press on an icon right here and there just be an action for lock. And then when I go to try to you know, open it up, it gives me the little face ID icon and I have to scan my face to get into the application. That would be, you know, what happens in an ideal world, but we're just not there yet. We have to use these little workarounds like with shortcuts for the time being. But if you guys found this tutorial helpful, I would appreciate a thumbs up. And if you want a short, easy, digestible version of this video, you can find that on my TikTok page, which is also linked down below. That video did pretty well over on TikTok, so that kind of motivated me to do a full-fledged video here on YouTube on locking applications on your iPhone. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you want to see future iPhone tricks and hacks, make sure to subscribe to the channel because I will be bringing a lot more of those to the channel later on this year. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.